Straight Line is brought to you in part by the Toledo Clinic ENT, specializing in allergy, nasal, and sinus care. You're watching Straight Line with Dan Rogers, President and CEO of Cherry Street Mission Ministries. Welcome to the Straight Line, and my name is Delray Bush. Today we're going to be discussing something that we've never done before and maybe never even seen before, um, right. the Life Revitalization Center, formerly known as the Maycumber Building. Well, right. Uh, most of our community, Delray, know that we purchased the building mm -hmm. uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, th I think a lot of our community, because we've been telling folks, and it's mm -hmm. been the paper, uh, we've been broadcasting it, that we did, in fact, purchase that building. What we're going to do today is actually do a walkthrough of the building visually. Mm -hmm. And uh, you and I are going to dialogue about what God has been doing in the building physically and what we hope happens out of that building by way of vision and, and uh, ministry. Yeah, and a lot of uh, people are starting to move over there, uh, myself included. I'm getting ready to um, in the education sector, so I'm really excited for that. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I mean, I'm excited to see our guests using that building um, for good and uh, in, a, in a way that it's never been used for before, vocation. Yeah, no question. You know, the uh, building itself was built as the Mac Cumber Vocational School. Mm -hmm. It was literally designed as a vocational school. It hasn't been retrofitted for anything else. It was closed in 19, 1992 by the Tittle Public School System as a vocational school. And for the last 22 years, I believe, as do many within our community, waiting for a vocation, only this time for adults, to return uh, to our community to revitalize a life, which is why we're calling the building what we're calling it. And it needed some definite work, but by God, we have, I mean, by God alone, um, we yeah, have we gotten have. a lot done so far, haven't we? No question. The building mm -hmm. itself is in phenomenal shape. It was built in the mid-1930s and back in a day when, you know, people say we knew how to build a building. And it's structurally exceptionally sound. The mechanics of the building are in very, very good shape. And there's a lot of road ahead, and, and anyone who knows old buildings knows that there's a lot of road ahead relative to rehabilitating the physical structure. So roof and uh, restrooms and electrical, and uh, eventually because we'll put residential in there, uh, overhead sprinklers. So there's a lot of rehab to the building. But you're right, Delray, the building itself is in phenomenal shape. Yeah, and it's, it's so exciting because we, we have education moving over here in about a couple months here. Um, and we're also um, going to delve into some partnerships, which we'll discuss a little bit later. And yes. I'm excited for that, too. Yeah, well, you know, we're going to show a video in a quick minute because I'm actually going to walk people through key parts of the building. So mm -hmm. you're actually going to get a chance to see uh, the building in its physical shape. So we're going to do like a visual tour mm -hmm. of the structure. Um, but Yes, one of the key decisions that our organization made as a board and as a management team is that really we were going to trust God for new competencies that would come into uh, the recovery and the redemption of a person by invitation. Mm -hmm. So rather than starting a new competency, we were going to say, let's uh, invite existing competencies. So without uh, further delay, let's go to the video I want to walk you through Mac Humber, which is now the Life Revitalization Center, and show you not only what you've done to get us here, but how you can continue to see yourself in the revitalizing of a life. Let's watch. Welcome to Cherry Street Mission Ministries Life Revitalization Center, known as the former Mac Humber High School. You know, Cherry Street purchased this building just about a year and a half ago. What we want to do today is walk you through the building show you the wonderful assets that are being made ready for our guests and our community and show you how God and his redeeming power wants to change lives here. Come on, let's go take a look. You know, when you're standing on a stage, it evokes a lot of imagination and a lot of creativity. Just like we're doing today, when you think about what could happen in this auditorium, Think about all 600 seats filled as they once were in the heyday of this building. You can imagine all kinds of things that would happen if we in fact opened up this valuable community asset to the community. Just imagine, would you, what this auditorium would look like alive with possibility. Arts, entertainment, lectures, concerts, church services, Revival would break out, I think, in almost every sector of our imagination. 
And if you can include those ideas with men and women that have never been on a stage, but maybe have stage inside them, or have always imagined themselves being creative, but have never been given the opportunity. And if you could take that group of people and you could merge them with, well, the opportunity the other people have had, you know, to be on stage, to perform, to understand what it might be like to unleash, you know, something inside of you, then you would have a creative uh, collaboration, wouldn't you? There would be this great explosion of possibility. I believe redemption, particularly the gospel of redemption, means that you've got to be able to reach deep into the way God created you and come up with something, you know, amazing. I think amazing things can happen right here on the stage and right here in this auditorium. This is one of the great assets of our community. We are so excited to open up to everybody. This is our education and vocational wing. As a matter of fact, if you would have been here just like the first couple of days of October, this would be full of debris, really dark. The lights weren't on, none of the painting was going on, but now it's underway uh, because our vocational and education partners are beginning to move in. And so uh, we're beginning to move all of our GED uh, classes here as well as developing our vocational programs as well. This is going to be a very vibrant hall, completely uh, thriving with men and women who want to do something about the change that's in their heart. And so you'll see this develop over time as we uh, continue to develop this project. This room, more than any room so far at the Library Revitalization Center, is, um, embodies the whole idea of our project so far because we really believe that the Life Revitalization Center can actually be uh, completed through human capital. And so this is a great example of how people work together to actually put this room back together. This is the original library of and very old high school and of course it remains the library of now the Life Revitalization Center. But what we did was we asked the Home Depot and Harrisburg Alliance, the great people at both organizations, to come together and collaborate. One providing uh, labor and resources, and the other providing labor and resources, and they put those together, and here you go. New ceiling, new flooring, dusted off, polished the woodwork, painted the place, and gave us new lights. Isn't that a great example of how projects can be completed when good people who have resources simply work together collaboratively to put something remarkable together. We see this entire project developing in much the same way. Sometimes in really big ways, because in a moment I'm going to show you the gym. I need a lot of genius in that room. But this is a really small project, but very meaningful in the way that it describes what we want to do here at the Life Revitalization Center. Well, this is going to definitely be one of the rooms at the Life Revitalization Center that is going to need a lot of your imagination. Mostly because the uh, floor has gotten ruined because uh, the roof was leaking for a long time. You'll be happy to know that through your help and support we've been able to fix the roof. And unfortunately the floor is in a really, really bad shape. So it's got this wavy effect all the way through because you know wood doesn't like water. And so this will require great imagination in terms of how we get this floor fixed, but also how can we reimagine this space? You know, when you think about the stadium seating that is here, and you think back to 1992 when Jimmy Jackson, one of Toledo's uh, favorite sons, played right here on this court and went on to be really um, excellent in the NBA. So this room has a lot of history, a lot of great basketball for a lot of great Toledoans have happened on this floor. And there's a lot of great basketball and recreation that can still happen right here. Boy, I don't know about you, but I see midnight basketball here. I see, you know, roller skating or all night dance classes. Who knows? The possibilities are completely endless. But here is another great asset waiting for someone in the community that has another great idea. 
that needs a gym, needs a recreation center. And again, like the auditorium, we run 24 hours, seven days a week. So if you've got an idea, and if you can incorporate men and women who need exercise, need to, you know, experience something more than addiction, something more than despair, something more than a hopeless day, this is a great way to integrate people in the community that exercise and people in the community that haven't exercised for a long time. It's not really the exercise though, is it? Not really the round ball in the hoop, is it? No, it's really about the friendship and the camaraderie that space like this creates. Lasting memories. You know, when I walk in this gym, I think about the gyms I grew up on, the various uh, ways that I would use it that formed my life, framed the way that I thought, built lasting relationships that live to this day. You can never get away from that reality. And that's what a refurbished gym here at the Life Revitalization Center holds. It holds the hope of friendship building. It holds the hope of people building something in their lives that will last generationally. That's our great opportunity. I hope to show it to you one day. This is probably the most exciting part of our project to date. This is our automotive garage. And for the first time in nearly 70 years, Cherry Street Mission Ministries has the space to actually work on its own vehicles. And so we've been doing that a little bit at a time because uh, Cherry Street's got a few vehicles that transports our guests and does various things, picks up produce, picks up you know furniture for our community. And so we've been exercising, we've been practicing on our vehicles, teaching men and women in very small ways how to change oil, how to rotate tires, how to fix brakes, how to even inspect the safety of a vehicle. And it's all the beginning, isn't it? I mean, it's all just the idea of things to come. Imagine now with a vocational partner occupying the same space, not long from today, where instructors and and uh, teachers are coming along beside men and women who were or are experiencing homelessness or have been experiencing some you know dark days in their lives this kind of thing offers opportunity but it also will also offer opportunities uh, great things in the future people can see that from this place there's hope from this place there's a job from this place there is um, a no return. We do not have to return to addiction, do not have to return to poverty, do not have to return to the streets. But in, in fact, what God is doing through projects like this is giving our guests in our community a reversal of fortune, a reversal of things that have been going on in their lives. And isn't that really what you and I yearn for? Isn't that what God is doing in our lives? whether it's us personally or whether it's us working with other people or whether it's just working in spaces like this. It's a reversal, isn't it? It turns the corner for us. It takes us to a new place in a different direction. And that's really what redemption is. You would agree, I know, that anything less than a job, anything less than housing that is secure, anything less than sustainability when it comes to people is it really redemption and so you and I we can bring people to Christ we've been doing that for years and it's fantastic right evangelism salvation the way God grabs a hold of a life and grabs a hold of a heart and just changes our entire mind about possibilities but we must build on that salvation we must reach deeper into a person's life and provide redemption Redemption then looks, well, you know, like it looks like for me and you. We have house, we have job, we have opportunity, we have access, we have options, we have ability and opportunity. And very little stands in our way. We want the same thing for all people, our fellow man, our brothers, our sisters, the citizens that we collaborate with and see every day. And so that's the Life Revitalization Center. It's, you know, revitalization. It's taking the vitality of a human being and saying you are vital. You have vitality. It may be buried under so much but with a little effort and a little help and a lot of hope with the application of 
faith. A life can be redeemed. A life can experience revitalization. That's what you've been seeing all day long from our parking lot all the way through the building and as we exit this garage. It is one opportunity after another. And I hope now you can see why we've decided to call this project and this building the Life Revitalization Center. I cannot wait for you to come down and take a look. God bless. You know, Dan, when I hear you talking about um, the Maycomer Building or Life Revitalization Center, I see a, a blank slate almost, mm -hmm. um, a, an opportunity for our guests to, um, you know, obviously they atone for their past and everything like that, but yeah. to start afresh and start new, um, to, to kind of go down a different path. Do you see something similar? Well, there's no question, and, and hopefully our viewers saw today that there is um, a lot of similarity between a building in need of love mm -hmm. and a building in need of um, occupation mm -hmm. and a building in need of repurposing with life. You know, because that's people, man. We all need this opportunity to, you know, be something different, you know, to see something different. So when I walk through the building, and certainly as we were watching that video, man, I, I'm excited because it's so, every time I walk in, I'm like, oh man, this building reminds me of people. It reminds me of what we're doing in preparation for the people that will one day walk its halls and experience personally what the building has experienced in rehabilitation. Sure, and when I think of um, doing something great, doing it the best, I think of you know getting the best. Yeah. Um, so may that be through um, our own staff who are um, you know great advocates, things mm -hmm. like that, or um, going out in the community and maybe finding partners. Is that something you see? Yeah, partners are going to be really critical. As we said before the video, we determined early on as a ministry and as an organization that we were not going to develop any new competencies. We really do see returning this building to its original purpose, which is to vocationally and career develop people. In this case, because Cherry Street is very adult specific and adult oriented, we will, with our community's love and support and belonging, we will uh, see this building come back to life as an adult and career vocational center for adults. And so partners are really key. In the case of vocational training, for example, or career development, when we say we're not gonna develop any new competencies, we are saying to our community, uh, don't be afraid. Cherry Street is not gonna start a vocational school uh, because we wouldn't know how to start that. No more than a vocational school would know how to start life revitalization. So we're reaching out to our great community partners who are really, really good experts in their field of vocationally uh, building lives and career developing lives. And we're asking them to consider what might their work look like within our space as a partner. What are some examples of some partners um, um, that you're thinking of? Um, something that maybe we don't serve um, the best, um, where we could find the best? Yeah, no question. And it's no secret because it was written in, the, in our own Toledo Blade mm -hmm. uh, not long ago that uh, we are in very um, uh, extensive conversations with uh, Ron Matter at uh, Penta Career Vocational School and our good friend, Dr. Romulus Durant, the superintendent of schools of Toledo Public School. Both of these great institutions have adult education and adult career development. We're simply reaching out to them and saying, what would your expertise, like you said, Delray, what would your expertise look like here as a partner? And so we're in these fantastic what if questions of what it might look like for us to work collaboratively and reach a community and reach a demographic of people that typically are not being reached in traditional vocational adult training. I'm so excited about that because, you know, I am in education at Cherry Street. You are. So uh, I'm excited to see uh, how Pensa can help us be the best that we can be. Um, when, we're, when we're reaching out to others, um, we're not saying we need you. We're, just, we're saying that this is the best partnership for both of us. Yes. So. Well, yeah, no question because, and again, uh, Cherry Street can provide that spiritual quotient. We can provide that stabilizing quotient. Mm -hmm. The uh, ministry that our community has allowed us to become at their hands of both volunteerism, prayer, and financial support 
is to be the best in class within our region that knows how to stand in corners no one else is standing in, to love in ways that uh, our community needs people to be loved, and to serve in ways that um, is uh, innovative. You know, we've had our food service department on the show in times past. Mm -hmm. They've talked about the innovations and technologies that we use to develop people through food cultivation and through food culinary. And so our community can look at Cherry Street and say, we know you're the best at this, spiritually transforming and stabilizing a life. And you're right, Del Ray, having a partner come in who their specialty is welding, their specialty mm -hmm. is auto mechanics, their specialty is licensed practical nursing or barber school, as is in the case of Toledo Public Schools, or their specialty is in um, uh, the arts, then yes, their partnership allows our partnership to merge and come together through collaboration and through a way that um, gives people who are really looking for hope a single focus of what their hope might look like if they stepped into it. How do we see our viewers who are watching today um, interacting with uh, Life Revitalization Center? Well, frankly, I believe there are those of you watching today's program that you're like, I've been in education, I, I used to teach in vocational training, or I own a garage, or I own a shop, or I own a welding store, or I am a welder. I know as people are watching this show, Del Rey, they're thinking, oh my gosh, I can see myself totally engaging people. The cool thing is, is that what this, what this idea, what this vision that we all hold so dearly holds for our community is hope and opportunity. People that um, are going to work every day in their chosen fields are oftentimes going to work also thinking, I wish my life was having impact on another life. And a lot of people that are going to careers, they don't know that. They don't know how they're being a CPA or they're running a shop or they're being uh, an administrative assistant or an administrator. They don't know how they're affecting lives. What this allows our community to do is to get your profession up close to people who would be completely and directly impacted by you. And that's what it's all about, right? Completely. It's always been about integration of people to people. Mm -hmm. Because in our world, you know, we're not talking about homeless people, business people, uh, educated people, uneducated people, poverty people. Mm -hmm. That's not the way we talk at Cherry Street. We just talk people. Mm -hmm. Because volunteers, donors, staff, our guests uh, in the sight of Cherry Street, as in the sight of God, are the same person. Absolutely, and you don't just have to be a guest to find hope at Cherry Street. For myself, um, I found God at Cherry Street in fact, um, as did. a volunteer. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, many of you uh, would know Delray's story. You mm -hmm. came uh, to Cherry Street as an atheist, and mm -hmm. here you are, you mm -hmm. know, uh, believing God uh, because you were able to experience life transformation through Cherry Street. And it changed my life forever. Well, yeah. as it does for us all. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, at Cherry Street, there is uh, something we say every day. There is in all of us both a need to give and a need to receive. As you watch this next video, take a look at the way that you continue to wrap your arms around people who need you the most. Let's watch together. You know what Cherry Street Mission Ministries from 1947 until this very day has always been about people? You have people like you people that come through our doors for a wider range of reasons. So when you financially and prayerfully support Cherry Street, you are actually making an investment in life revitalization. And I think one of the cool things about that is we're all about revitalizing and transforming every life that comes through one of our doors, no matter what the reason. That's the great thing about your support and your investment of Cherry Street is the way that lives are transformed and changed. Well, obviously, Del Rey, <laughs> we're excited about the Life Revitalization Center. There's a real, real reason why we, as a community of believers, have decided to call this, this former Macomber project the Life Revitalization Center. As you're watching the video today, even in our own dialogue, or some of the things you picked up and you learned afresh or remembered afresh 
as we chatted today? I think the most important thing is that our guests maybe didn't have such good experiences maybe in the public school system or with vocations if they if they had some college and things like that in the past. We want to start something different. We don't want to be their past. Um, we're trying to start afresh and new. Um, I think that's the most important thing for our guests. They have bad experiences. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people who had great experiences in high school still didn't like it very much. So right. if you um, maybe were in um, classes uh, for slower learning, things right. like that, that can really affect you um, and make you feel like you can never get ahead and you can never get into vocation. So getting our guests uh, in this different mindset and starting in this new building, that makes a huge difference. No question. You know, when we, as we were walking through the uh, video and uh, our viewers were taking a look, uh, maybe sometimes for the first time, the auditorium, mm -hmm. that just, you know, makes you imagine so much. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I just learned every day uh, when we think about this dynamic opportunity is how God will utilize every single day and every nook and cranny of that building to recognize for people he's in control and that his hope and his love reaches deep into people's lives. And I hope one day that this building really stands as a testimony mm -hmm. to God's grace and to his redemptive power. And as you think about your involvement at Cherry Street, when you think about your involvement in the Life Revitalization Center, and again, you heard the reasons why we've decided to call it that. We've decided to name the building the thing that the building represents, that when you go there, you realize that you're participating either personally or you're participating on the behalf of somebody else's life being revitalized. And that key word in revitalization is the word vital. Because when you and I were born, when you and I were formed on this planet, God made us to be vital. He gave us hope. He gave us purpose. He gave us reason to live. And a lot of us just get up in life and we forget our own vitality. Maybe drugs have done that or alcohol has done that. Maybe your job, maybe what's going on inside you internally. Maybe abuse or abdication or something has just crushed on you to cause you to forget that you're vital. You're not just a thing, you're not just a workabout, you're not just an object through which people get things done. But you yourself have an experience with God where He absolutely reaches into the deep recesses of your life and He brings up your vitality. That's called life revitalization and we really wanted this building to represent that. You know, as we go throughout our day, I want you to remember that you could actually impact 60 lives so easily through your giving opportunities. Do you know for uh, $104, you could really change and transform a person's life? Think about what $104 does in the life of 60 people. Think about what an investment that little bit of money would mean to somebody that would want to experience life revitalization. Go to cherrystreetmission.org and think about how you can participate on the investment level in people's lives. Delray, thanks for being here today. Thank you for uh, having me, and it was a pleasure. God bless. Yeah. God bless. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.